sponsored by Automated Entertainment. OBQs. Run at apps. And Kamui tips. Thanks for watching, everybody. Rocket Rodney Morris versus Ernesto Dominguez coming up right now on the live stream. Ernesto Dominguez warming up a little bit. Ernesto Dominguez played an amazing match uh, last night against Danny Gokul, coming back from six games to one to defeat Danny Gokul eight games to six. And he also came back against uh, Mr. Whaley uh, in the last match just now after being down 4-0. Here he is playing Rocket Rodney Morris right now on the live stream. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please share and let everybody know we're watching this match live on POV Pool. We're live here at Family Billiards, streaming the second annual Cole Dixon Memorial Tournament right here at Family Billiards in San Francisco, California. I want to also remind you guys to tune in to POV Pool on July 11th, 12th, and 13th, 2014 for the Hard Times 10 Ball event coming up at Hard Times Billiards this July 11th, 12th, and 13th. Live on POV Pool. Huge field of professional players. $5,000 added. Be sure to check it out, folks. Free stream live for three days straight. Brought to you by Hard Times Billiards and West State Billiards. The Hard Times 10 Ball event. Check it out. So with that, let us give Ernesto a minute to practice. Rocket Rodney Morris is coming to the table with his cues. There he is. And let's enjoy this match. Sorry, I just can't multitask right now. Winner of this event last year was actually eliminated uh, yesterday. He was a Mar Kang. Uh, this event actually has drawn, I think, five or six more pros than it had last year. Ramon Mystica came, Rodney Morris, Oscar, and Ernesto Dominguez came. And uh, did we have any others? I think we had another pro. 
I'm just trying to remember who it is. Uh, but we have a very strong field and many great players left. We still have Kenny Koo, Oscar Dominguez, Jason Williams just beat Josh Gomes in a Hill Hill match. There's the break. Shot on the one. Good start for Ernesto. And during this match, folks, we're going to give away a piece of Kamui chalk and also a Kamui tip voucher to uh, supporters of the live stream. Swing and a miss. Here comes Rodney. Say hey to James Harris out in Bakersfield, good buddy of uh, Rodney Morris's. I was actually uh, driving through Bakersfield on the way over here to San Francisco Family Billiards from Los Angeles. And I was thinking about you and Brian Parks, and I was thinking, hey, I should give them a call and see if they want to ride up here to San Francisco. I looked in the back seat and I saw all my equipment, and I figured, well, I think the equipment's a little more important. <laughs> So, uh, shame on you guys for not getting your asses up here. <laughs> but anyway, a uh, uh, happy, healthy shout out to James Harris and Brian Parks. I also want to say hey to my buddy Mike Meeker and his wife April down in uh, Orange or Anaheim, Costa <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> Southern California. <laughs> Zero right now in this race to eight winner side match. The winner of this match will play for the hot seat.
too? Yes. Shot by Rodney. Looking like he's playing smooth, he's loose, and he's hitting them pretty good. It's buggy, sometimes it doesn't. This looks good. What? This one looks good. What does? I like the way it looks. <laughs> Bernie, how well do you know uh, Rodney Morris? Rodney and I met each other about uh, maybe four or five years ago down at the BCA. Uh, we're just kind of casual friends and Facebook friends. We sat down and had cocktails together one time down there. I think it was uh, Doug Wu and, uh, and I and a couple of the locals from here. Yeah. He was the only one who walked by who would talk to us, uh, actually. <laughs> yeah, he's good friends with uh, Amar Kang and Raj Hundal. And, uh, you know, they, they, they often hang out whenever they're up here, up north together. Mm -hmm. Oops. I wasn't here yesterday, as you know. Was Amar Kang here yesterday? Amar Kang was here. He got oh. knocked out early. Oh, that's unusual. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Last time I broadcast here, as a matter of Jason fact, Jason Williams beat him, uh, knocked him out, oh. finally. Well, JW is starting to hit him again. Yeah. All right. Rodney, Rodney plays a safety, and uh, he leaves Ernesto with a long shot. And doesn't look like a very easy one, either. And to get shape on the four ball could also be another feat in and of itself. So Ernesto decides to play the safety instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fell in that. I don't think he had anything in mind in particular. Yeah, yeah, he got a lucky roll there. Ongoing matches too. We have uh, Oscar Dominguez uh, currently playing on the winner's side against Ramon Mystica. And I believe the score there is, I see a bead of one, but uh, looks like the bead will move again. So we'll find out what the score is. It's 2-0 now, Oscar. So back to the other match. Ernesto 
play to safety back, and it looks like. Let me get my head sort of sure. It looks like Rodney has uh, played a safety back on Ernesto. Hi, you guys. Hi, Lisa Coronado. Lisa, Check in. big mouth Coronado up in this place, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, you came up to us earlier and I thought you were coming to joke around with me and then you're like, can you go watch a hit? <laughs> well, well, it's all business, man. Yeah. You know, there's a time for business and there's a time for play. <laughs> right, Sometimes right. Sometimes I got to get a little serious with people. I'm yeah, sorry yeah, about yeah. that. No, that's good. <laughs> that's good. You guys off for lunch or? <laughs> um, no, going. I decided it's Sunday. I don't work on Sundays. Saturdays I'll do a little bit of work every now and then, but Sundays that's my day off. All right, it's there mandatory. You so, who, so maybe not for you, but for me. Who's your pick to win this win this match? That's a tough one because uh, I really, really, really have always enjoyed Rocket. He's been a great guy. He's a great sportsman. But uh, I also have a soft spot for the Ernesto, the Dominguez's. I'm sorry, Ernesto and Oscar. So there's the flip. And then you got the hometown boy, Jason Williams. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like CJ's still in. He's one of the locals from where we're around. Right. 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 So we'll see. Hopefully. And then there's Dale. But all the other boys, I'm not really familiar with all the other guys that are playing. Oh wow. Oh, well, and I forgot. Yes, I am. We've got Mr. Kenny Koo out there. Yeah, you got Kenny and you got awesome. Ramon Mystic. Yeah, and Munching, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I get lucky. He's yeah, yeah. lucky. Yeah, Well, I want to thank you for your help this weekend. It's been cool. What help? You know, you've been. Just, you know. Just, you're, you know what? Just your shining smile is enough inspiration. Whatever. Don't blow me cover. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three to zero, folks. Oh Rodney has caught himself a little bit of a gear. He's playing good safeties. Smashing break, and will he get a shot on the one? Doesn't look like it. Jason Williams up two zero against uh, Doug, Whaley. Doug Whaley, the instructor. They've been friends for a long time. They've played together. Oh. Geraldine tells me they've been friends a while and have played each other many times. Play with each other. So Alex Bradley steps in. Great, man. How's it going? Good. Alex Bradley, manager of the Broken Rack. That's good, man. You want to say hello to anyone? Uh, hello to all the folks out there, POV Pool. You're looking good, man. I like the beard. Yeah, been growing it out. <laughs> Looks good. How's your game? Uh, I haven't played much, but uh, still watching. watching. Okay, you're not playing much. That's that's a shame because Jesse uh, Jesse Gilbert's uh, fishing for five hundred dollars sets. Is he, here to, is he here today? He's on his way up, apparently. Yeah, he 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 always texts me and asks me. To play him anyways. Anybody want action with Jesse Gilbert LeVar? Come on up today. He's going to be at Family Billiards looking for three to five hundred dollar one pocket sets. So uh, any one pocket action? Uh, anybody looking for one pocket action? Good to see you. you too. You too. Feel free to drop in and visit with us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe a little later. All right. Okay, nice jump shot by uh, Rodney.
Uh, by the way, I'd also like to thank uh, Bob CMBWSU, Upstate Al, and all the crew at the live stream news group for uh, helping to promote this event, get the get the uh, spread the word that we are streaming live this weekend. Thanks so much to the, you guys and all you do for the game. Rodney misses a nine ball, 3-0, and I guess at that moment he just ran out of gas. By the way, I want to remind you guys, if you like the game of pool and you like seeing great matches, please be sure to check out POV Pool on YouTube and subscribe to POV Pool's YouTube channel. You can also join, you, uh, join POV Pool on Facebook. Just look up POV Pool on Facebook and join the group. Uh, be sure also to join Point of View Pool on Facebook. Can we get an audio check on Bernie Garma? Go ahead. Oh, you're chasing. What are you chasing? This one? Channel one? No, I want to trace this to find out where this is going. Oh, that's this one. left and right. 
phones would be like headphones, right? That's a line in. I've been using these handset mics for so long. This mix right. Sorry, Barney. What's okay? It's too hot anyway. Like what you need is some sort of preamp. I've done a bit of preamp. I think shows me Uh-huh. I have never had a chance to get into getting it. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Sorry. All right, well, as you can see, Ernesto is struggling, but I gotta tell you, he's been struggling a little bit in the beginning of a few of his matches and comes back and wins. So, this just might be, uh, you know, the way things are playing out for him this weekend. No, I haven't done it much. Hi. Thanks for the stream. Oh, you're welcome. Tell me who you are. I met you last time. Yeah, yeah. All right, chance for Ernesto to play another safety. That's what I would do. Good speed, nice shot. I think it's just a matter of Ernesto having trouble just feeling comfortable with his opponents today or, or and yesterday and feeling comfortable with each table that he's playing on. But rather than speculate, I think what I'll do is I'll try to I'll try to stop Ernesto and see if I can ask him what's going on with him internally after this match. And a quick, a quick update on other matches. Jason Williams takes it down. Again. Doug Whaley beats Doug Whaley six games to zero. Ramon Mystica is trailing uh, Oscar Dominguez four games to two on the winner's side in a race to eight. Jason Williams, 6-0. against the guy who had uh, Ernesto four games to zero. So essentially, Doug Whaley goes two and out this morning.
Rodney, Rodney. Rodney don't like that. Rodney don't like that pocket. No, Rodney don't like that pocket. Ernesto gets his first game. Ernesto liked that pocket. And just very quickly also, I would like to thank uh, additional POV pool supporters out there. I would like to thank Bain uh, Mendoza of Doza. Actually, he owns a company called Doza Designs. And uh, I want to thank him for being a uh, POV pool supporter. Bain Mendoza has a vision to uh, support the pool industry through promotions and products and distribution of all sorts of, uh, he's got uh, all sorts of new ideas for the pool industry and I want to thank Bain Mendoza, he's been very helpful to me at POV Pool and I uh, hope wishing him well, that's Bain Mendoza of Doza, be on the lookout for a uh, new company coming out soon from Bain Mendoza. Rodney liked that pocket. Nice shot by Rodney. See now, I would have shot that shot and I'd have been afraid of the eight ball. Rodney not afraid of anything. Rodney is blasting off five games to one against Ernesto Dominguez. Okay, so after this rack, we're going to give away a Kamui tip voucher and a piece of chalk together. Two different winners, two different, two different things from the same company, Kamui.
want to thank John Batone of Kamui Tips Chalk. And I also want to remind you guys that, uh, look, if you can't afford to donate to POV Pool or support uh, our, game, our sport here, all I ask is that you contact our sponsors through their contact page and thank them for supporting the billiards industry. Thank them for supporting us streamers out there, especially Kamui Tips and OBQs, uh, automated entertainment and run out apps. I want you guys to know that, uh, you know, I don't just take any sponsor that comes along. I work really hard to find the right Partner. products and the right partnerships for the bill that I believe is working for the billiard industry. And so, you know, in turn, by you guys thanking them and supporting their products, you are supporting pool. In my opinion, that is just my point of view. Also, we're going to be doing a uh, look out for a thread on AZ Billiards. We're actually going to get it started really soon. Uh, it'll be called 20 Questions with John Bertone. We're going to collect 20 questions on AZ Billiards forum for John Bertone. And John Bertone is going to answer those questions during the Hard Times 10 Ball event, uh, July 11th, 12th, and 13th. So look out for the thread on AZ Billiards in the forum. It'll be called 20 Questions with John Bertone. And if you have questions for John Bertone, be sure to uh, submit them in that th thread. I'd like to keep it to the thread, that way we, we have one place to... Uh... <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, really, if you want to do it this way, we can do it this way. But, you know, we also... If you really wanted to ask him a question, you could call Kamui. You could go to the Kamui Facebook page. But anyway, we want to have fun. Yeah. So, <clears throat> 20 questions with John Bertone will be happening in July. Uh, and we're going to read them all. We're going to, you, you know, it, your username or your AZ name will be read off that you asked this question. And we're going to give John Bertone a minute to uh, answer all of those 20 questions. Okay, something's going on over here. I thought she, for a second, I thought I thought some woman from the health department was here. She had a clipboard with her, but I really think maybe it was a clipboard that she stole off of the reception desk at the nursing home <laughs> and went walking around with it. <laughs> I want to also say hello to Bob Bolio, World PPA, in the uh, audience. I want to say hello to all of you guys, actually. I want to say hey to Turbo Draw, Mike Ayers, Bacon, Marty Herman. Bank Shots, Bill Doherty, BMA, Kathy Jo Sawyer, Almanza, that's Frank the Barber's wife, it's gotta be. Desiree's watching, Dexter's watching, Dirty Bob, <laughs> Don65, GT John, Jim Fort Collins, Loco Player, Scary Gary, Scotty B, Seussman, P PWD, Phil From, Monk the Assassin, Three Rail Kick, Sharky One, Snap Break, Strange Rails, Terry Hanna, Tim Coils, Too Slow for Me. Actually, if it wasn't for Bob Bolio last year, uh, we wouldn't have been able to do the Cole Dixon stream. Uh, because there's really not a lot of internet here at uh, Family Billiards. 
So Bob Bolio was nice enough, kind enough to um, provide us with a, a Wi-Fi hotspot, a jetpack unit for a Wi-Fi hotspot. And this year, our Wi-Fi hotspot is thanks to automated entertainment. And I uh, just want to thank Automated Entertainment once again for making POV Pool a permanent Wi-Fi hotspot. Oh, and hey to, hey to the Williams family, to Jared and George, and to Mary Ann. And also to Marshall. Williams. Hope you're watching from Chicago. Meanwhile, Ernesto now is sort of getting games handed to him. It's now going to be five games to three in a race to eight. Oscar Dominguez is up five games to three against Ramon Mystica. You're not Frank's wife. Are you related to Frank? <laughs> Don't you know Frank Almanza, Frank the Barber? Frank the Barber is, uh, is a very good pool player, and I thought you might be uh, related to Frank. The uh, score right now is five games to three. Ernesto is down. Sorry about that, guys. While we're at it, let's give away a uh, let's give away a Kamui voucher. Paul Burton, Paul Burton, thank you for your support of POV Pool. You have won a Kamui Tip voucher, Paul Burton. We will be sending you an email. Uh, we'll need your mailing address. I want to uh, thanks for you know thanks so much for your support. I got to tell you, your support, all of your support that has ha has been happening this weekend is very very much needed. This is, these are trying times for little old POV Pool. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I, I honestly, I did not expect to be coming up here at the last minute like this to, uh, to San Francisco to do this live stream. And your support is much needed and greatly appreciated. Paul, thank you so much. We're going to give you a Kamui tip voucher. Redeemable at, uh-oh. Redeemable at any certified Kamui tip installer. Which means you get the tip for free, and all you do is pay the installer for the labor, which would be probably like $10. That Kamui tip voucher is also good for any Kamui clear tip with a retail value of, I believe, $35. So there you have it. Really appreciate your support at POV Pool.
All right, so Rodney takes down another one. It's uh, six to three now. Ernesto tried to play that 4-9 combo, which came up dry. As did Rodney's break just now. Ernesto plays a nice shot on the one to stun down give himself a, a look at the two ball. And I, I want to remind you guys that Ernesto has won his last two matches from behind. And we're not talking like a shortfall either. We're talking 4-0, 6-1. Or, uh, well, the other way around. It was 6-1 yesterday. He was losing to Danny Gokul. And he beat Danny Gokul 8-6. And uh, he just won against Doug Whaley this morning after being down 4-0. Why? Uh, This is going to be nice for Ernesto, or is it? George Michaels, he got knocked out yesterday by Jason Williams, who uh, has a reputation of frequently knocking out George Michaels. Kathy Jo Sawyer Almanza pointing out that they made three balls on the break during the Qatar stream. Uh, I want to remind you that in Qatar they were using the magic rack. They're not using the magic rack here. The magic rack almost guarantees players to make a ball during the break. And if you think that's an opinion, ask around. Kathy Joe, just want to point that out to you. I'm not trying to be uh, condescending or anything. I just want to uh, just just remind you that it was a magic rack event there. Update on Oscar Dominguez versus Ramon Mystica. Actually, Ramon's trying to take a stand here. Oscar Dominguez is up um, five games to four on Ramon Mystica. They're in a race to eight, so that could go either way. I'm gonna put uh, Jason Williams in the middle of back of the Beautiful. While Ernesto's grabbing or tying his shoelaces, I wanna show you there, Oscar is in sort of a sticky rack situation. The six and the nine are frozen together. Jason Williams, scratching his way from the one lost side, is now about to play Jason Ulo on the next table over, the next table you see where Oscar is playing now. Back now to Ernesto Dominguez, who's about to jump over this five ball to make the four. Swing and a miss, but he gets a good hit and semi-decent roll. What? 
kind of want to see what Oscar's going to do with this 6-9 frozen ball scenario here. He's still looking at it. Hopefully I'll get, I'll have an inner a second to well, let's see. Let's see what he does. Frozen ball, 6-9. He plays a cue ball long. That was actually a very good shot. Very good shot. Rodney just kicked out of trouble there. After making that four ball, he hooked himself, but he kicked out of trouble. Leaves Ernesto wide open. Ernesto's chance right now to try to start making his comeback. Deadstroke, Diaz, talking about the battle of the dads, Mora versus Dominguez. You know, a lot of people have been talking about that. In fact, they've been talking about doing a Scotch doubles match with uh, the sons and the fathers. Uh, I, I actually spoke with Oscar yesterday, and I forgot to mention this uh, possibility to him. I, I would love to be able to uh, present that event. Here comes Ernesto, who is now down 6-4 against Oscar Doming uh, against Rodney Morris, Oscar Dominguez, and Ramon Mystica. That's Ramon's body English there that you just saw. Gives up ball in hand to Oscar Dominguez. And uh, for those who don't know uh, about this, I just want you guys to know that Oscar and Ernesto Dominguez are a father and son team and they never play each other in tournaments so and they're both on the winner side of this event right now I just want to let you know that if they happen to meet each other in the bracket they will not play each other what they usually do is they'll have an agreement they'll have an agreement they do have an agreement. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a set. What I mean is they don't have a set arrangement with each other as to who goes to the one loss side. I, I believe it's usually based on, uh, you know, merit of who's playing better that day. Or, uh, or how the uh, next opponent feels, or like if there's opponent left, if there's an opponent left in the bracket that uh, that they don't want to play, or that they might be able to handle coming up next in the bracket. That's usually how they work it out, you know. Oscar now up six to four against Ramon Mystica. Jason Williams is about to get started with Yulo. They're going to have a race to six from the one. Fast Lenny just went live too. I think he's doing some one pocket, folks, just so you know. Want to say hey to Lenny Marshall out there. On the rail. Dot TV. Generally streaming live from bull shooters and Colby's in Arizona. Rodney Morris is going to get on the hill against Ernesto Dominguez. It's now going to be seven games to four. <laughs> we 
Rodney, Rodney wasted no time here. Just rack them tight, and rack them and crack them. Seven ball, one ball, and a shot on the two. Look at this, and a road map. Almost got a, a, a color of money run out here. A Vince, a Vince run out. Not enough stop shots on it though. Ernesto Dominguez is now on the hill. I mean, Oscar Dominguez is now on the hill against Ramon Mystica. And as you can see, it looks like Rodney is about to close out with a break and run against Ernesto. And with that, we are going to give away a piece of chalk right now. Tony Coles, Tony Coles, you have one on POV Pool. We're gonna give you a piece of Kamui chalk, either number 98 or number 121. I wanna thank you for your support of POV Pool and thank you to all other supporters of POV Pool. We still have an OB lift jump cue to give away with a retail value of $150. And a couple of more Kamui vouchers. Uh, but uh, we will be sending you an email, Tony Coles, uh, with uh, a request for your mailing address. We'll get that Kamui chalk out to you, your choice of number 98 or number 121. And uh, once again, thanks for supporting POV Pool. And congratulations to Rodney Morris for his uh, defeat of Ernesto Dominguez. Ernesto will uh, go to the one-loss side, probably play the winner of Jason Williams and, uh, and Yulo. So stick around. We're going to have another match shortly. We're going to toggle over to Oscar Dominguez's match with Ramon Mystica and Jason Williams playing... Uh, playing Yulo. So, thanks for watching POV Pool. Hope you're having fun, man.